Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnought, where today we continue our Chinese campaign. And we're not beating around the bush here, it seems. We're diving straight into the fight. A fight with the US of A, an American fleet that has been moving towards my coasts, needs to be dealt with immediately. It's a fairly strong fleet from the looks of it. Six heavy cruisers, eight light cruisers, two battleships, three torpedo boats. Yeah, I am at a disadvantage. However, I'm having faith in my battleships, even though they are... Well, no, from the looks of it, it looks like I got a modern battleship with me at least. Let's quickly set things up. Am I setting things up properly? Um... I try to vary things a bit. Um, I don't want all my campaigns to have the same kind of formations. And especially with my Chinese one, I'm trying to play around a bit. Oh, look, a Dreadnought. Oh, then I'm confident we'll actually be able to do something. Uh, this is a pre-Dreadnought, though. And this is also... Well, no, this is a modern pre-Dreadnought, the latter one. Um, I'm not quite sure. Because I'm talking to you from post-production. That's right. This episode suffers from catastrophic sound failure. <laughs> uh, just like my uh, la last um, Italian episode that was recorded at the same time. The sound is just... Well, in this case, it's utterly not here for the first 15 minutes. No matter what I do. It's because I turned the microphone off. Yeah, but I also have no in-game sounds. So it just completely decided to go full bar on me. Um, frustrating, yeah. End of the world, luckily, no. That said, let's get forward until something happens. There we go. We are in a battle line. Something I quite enjoy doing with my Chinese campaign, just to form all my ships up in a long string that is consistent of several divisions. Um, the reason why I do this is so I can actually, in case of emergency, order a division out of the line. And yeah, it creates something different. And I like it. The Americans are not much of a fan from the looks of it, because it also allows me to really concentrate a lot of firepower fairly easily. And from the looks of it, yeah, there goes the first light cruiser on the American side, quickly followed by a second one, a torpedo boat. Neat. Some good hits there in the rear of the enemy formation now. Looks like the enemy battleships are being targeted. Excellent. Carry on. There we have it. The Arkansas taking heavy fire. As she is closing the distance. Really bad decision from the AI to send in the battleships. Um, they should have sent in that light group on the left first, I reckon. Although, that group is in trouble as well. My torpedo boats are very accurate all of a sudden. Not that I'm complaining. Not at all. Trying to target the aft ship there to hit the first one. And with some decent success, I'd say. Decent success indeed, as a heavy cruiser goes down. I'm a bit worried about my torpedo boats right now. The enemy is closing in rapidly. As such, I move my formation in a bit, so the other ships can actually provide fire support for the torpedo boats if required. My torpedo boats, of course, have used up their torpedoes by now. So I can't really chase them away. That's unfortunate. Oh, 
Oh, some good hits there, some good hits. for now so mission accomplished there and ooh, those enemy battleships are getting really close now switching to AP rounds yep good 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 yeah it's a good attack angle and my 11 inch guns will actually hurt quite a bit assuming they hit that is Yes, there is a flooding hit, I believe. Indeed. That's the bell knap, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. Oh, poor unfortunate soul. Main tower is gone. And her flooding is spreading. I think we're looking at the end of a battleship here. Yes! Oh, extensive fire! Well done, well done indeed. By now, my heavy cruisers are going to turn back, creating, well, essentially a cul-de-sac, essentially, for the enemy. It's a, uh, there's no way out, boys, no way out. Except reverse, maybe. <laughs> Ooh, Arkansas is down and out, burned up. That said, especially my cruisers are starting to run low on ammo. I'm not sure you noticed, but the counts are getting low. At least on some of the... Uh, yeah, the torpedo boats as well starting to run low on ammo. Ha! That's not good. Am I wasting so many rounds here? Looks like it. Oh yeah, look at those wrapped numbers. All my ships are running low. And that is one of the more fascinating uh, aspects of the early game, I think. You really should go, a lot of the time, I think, more ammo is something that is required no it's not required it is useful though it's also useful to stop that charge come on come on come on yeah there we go there we go oh thank god as you see i detached my uh, battleship division there Oh, did I? No, wait, I didn't. I didn't. Pardon me. The uh, preview screen in my editor here is bloody small. <laughs> oh, good hit, good hit. Yeah, the Americans are in, are in real trouble here now. I think we are looking at the end of this American task force. So let's skip forward a bit, shall we? Okay, there we go. Last enemy ship is being targeted. And I do not believe I will pursue the other ones due to my low ammo counts. Yeah, they've smoked up. We're ending the battle. Look at that. Nine enemy ships sank. Some survived, especially the heavy cruisers is a shame. But it is what it is. Okay, well, let's um, go back to the live commentary, shall we? rather than the post-production. Thank you for your patience, people, and <laughs> enjoy the rest of the episode. And that is the moment you realize your microphone was not turned on. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. That was a 
bit of a disappointment there for the USA. I'm going to agree to the peace deal. Uh, at least I'm going to hope the Americans accept it. Um, I do not want to fight the Americans after all. There is no use in fighting them. <clears throat> I have nothing to gain from it right now. So, yeah. Americans, go away. The Xilang. Enemy is northwest. What an intercept course. Another solo fight. Or, well, solo fight. Out of three inches, plenty of ammo. Or nine inches, only mark two. The battleship, nine inch guns. <laughs> Sometimes I'm wondering what. What was I thinking? <laughs> I believe the enemy is in retreat. That's good. Because I'm gonna just charge forwards. And that smoke screen allows me to charge in at sometime speed. Thank you. are shooting there, strangely enough. Come on. Kill the spring lock. I am taking so much risk here. Oh, come on. That should have that should have been a hit. Turn away from their torpedo. They're not gonna launch at this angle. Sacrificing their destroyers. The other ships to this village? No wonder. I'm not seeing them. Sheila, slow down to 21 knots, please. Let's get some engine vibrations down. 23. Buff as well. There we go. This is very useful. I'd rather have killed the other ships, but hey, it's a victory. Enemy is northwest, I'm going southeast. They want to disengage, let them disengage. Goodbye, Mudigans. I'd say it's been a pleasure, but I'd be lying. Yeah, 30 times speed, it's like... They are far away. The enemy indeed sacrificed their destroyers for the rest of their ships.
Now, hello, world map. It's been a while. These ships, let's make sure you can go home. <laughs> go home, go to a port. Uh, these ships as well. It's serious, serious ammo uh, issue here on my fleet. Um, let's auto resolve that one. Medium damage, heavy damage. Uh, they sank some transports. That's unlucky. That naval invasion is not going to happen. I worry that I cannot defend Australia to the best of my abilities right now. Bloody Americans. And British moving a fleet here. I mean, hello. Not happy with that. Fleet status. First things first, let's select ammo. 87, 14%, 19%, yeah. Ouch. That's pretty bad. Five months, then I get my destroyers. That will be useful. I'm losing way too many torpedo boats. In fact, how many torpedo boats do I still have? Nine. Four being built, one being repaired. Yeah, I really need to get a lot more light ships uh, out. But that's for next turn. Okay, let's take a look. The Brits lost a lot of transports. Americans lost some transports. I haven't lost any. I managed to pull away from an uh, encounter battle. Yeah, they're, they're gonna take it. Um, politics. Can I attack Western Australia with that fleet? Uh, Britain, Britain, Britain. No naval invasions. Stupid. Well, in that case, I'm going to move these ships um, all the way around to here to hunt British ships. Oh, wow. Large British fleet, American fleets as well. Oh, God. That's sad. Some of my ships managed to reach some ports. And even though the ports are way over capacity right now, they are being resupplied. See a single battleship. What do we have here? American cruiser force, British battleship force. But I need some ships to protect my convoy routes in the Yellow Sea, so let's move them out. Protection roll, please. Thank you. I wish we took the rest of Korea. And attacks here from the British are proving to be not very effective. Fleet status, 12 months, seven months, hold on. That was five months. Yeah, I suppose this is the issue. My fleet came home and they need to repair as well. Unlucky. Also, Americans, why didn't you accept that peace deal? Come on. I need to stop that war, at least one of them. I wouldn't mind stopping the war with the British either. No transports lost. That's good, that's good, that's good. A convoy, yeah. I need to do that one, that is for sure, but I might do it off screen. 41, yeah, they're really taking Australia back. That is a shame. I really liked having Australia. I'll be honest. <coughs> Let's evacuate the port. They're still being refueled, resupplied. Mm. Let's send some ships out to the other ports. Uh, 
to get a bit more room in these ports. That will help, hopefully. Mm. Yeah, not much else I can do, so let's get to it. Dear Diary, even though the waves are higher than ever before, even though the rain is scattering across the decks, lightning flashes in the distance, and it's only the lightning that allows us to see our ships every now and then in the far distance. Sometimes we wonder if it's lightning or the flashes from the enemy barrels that we see. For the Brits are upon us. And the weather is shite. <laughs> God. I want two heavy cruisers and a light cruiser. Detach. I want two heavy cruisers and a light cruiser. Detach. So, the fleet is set up again. Oh, and um, welcome back from post-production here. <laughs> the sound section in this part of the video was, oh, it was just horrible. The uh, thunder and lightning sounds were very loud, while my own voice was hardly, um, you could hardly hear it. So, I decided to just turn it off altogether and just re-record what I was doing. Yeah, sucks. Then again, we don't have the large thundering sound, so that's a good thing. What's not a good thing is that I can't see anything. It's... I'll be honest, these fights really frustrate me. Because I cannot see what the lead ships of my formations are, I cannot see where they're going, I cannot see properly who is following who, um, and the enemy will be upon me at very short distances. Unless, of course, we spot their battleships first, which we do. So we had half a second of warning time <laughs> to dodge. As you can see, multiple enemy ships, some of them are damaged, badly damaged even. Oh, this is interesting. And in, under normal circumstances, this would have been a lovely slaughter indeed. Look at that, look at those enemy cruisers. Some of them are also on low fuel, I believe. Yeah. Interesting, indeed. Let's see if we can make something happen. Two minutes have passed. And as you can see, the formations have become a bit... intertwined. I misjudged the distance due to the fog. And, yeah, surprise, the enemy was upon me before I realized. My battleships are dodging like an idiot right now, and I'm hoping my light cruisers will actually be able to assist. Well, it doesn't seem to be. And it's just gonna be... It, it, it's... Ugh, hate it. Enemy is scoring some very good hits on my vessels as well, as you can see. This light cruiser really has had better days. And her torpedoes are being retarded. The firing angle's too limited. 
and I'm desperately trying to get her to fire a torpedo salvo before she dies. Breaking formation there, turning my formation there, okay, yep. Yeah. Light cruiser has turned. No torpedo launch yet though. My battleships actually did okay, even though they uh, they got really close to the enemy battleships. Did not really uh, cause a lot of damage. My light cruiser here has a broken rudder, so it's impossible to get her to stop turning. I'm still praying for that torpedo launch. At that distance, one or two torpedo hits would cripple the enemy battleships. I would really like that. But no. Again, no launch from the uh, light cruiser. Let's try again. She is on aggressive torpedo launch. Come on, this should be a proper angle. Yes, there we go. Torpedoes away. <laughs> this is not fair, mate. This is not fair. <laughs> Three duds. What are the odds? I'm pretty high, actually, I think. No, I don't want to calculate it. <laughs> it would be nice to know, though. It would be nice to know how it's calculated. Ooh, nasty hit there. Yeah, two of my ships got too close, and yeah, they're paying the price now. There goes a torpedo boat. And the other one, yeah, dies as well. Ouch. That is not cool. Two torpedo boats lost like that, and my light cruiser is still in a lot of danger here. I really should pull her out. Before the enemy decides that she is a tempting target. From the looks of it, I am moving my battleships to intercept her. Oh dear. The rudder. Although it does mean she dodges the torpedo, so that's a good thing. And her second torpedo salvo actually does 700 damage. Neat. It is an accident though, it's because of the broken rudder, otherwise I would have retreated that ship. But she's going essentially in circles. So I've given up on that and I'm just... Well, throw in everything you got. Cutting a hat another two minutes, I finally managed to pull my light cruiser out, but I fear it's too late. Damn that rudder! Come on, come on, don't you die on me, don't you die. <sighs> Damn. Shaozhou has been lost with all, well, not with all hands, hopefully. Although, let's be honest, in this weather, it will be nearly impossible to find any survivors in the ocean. It's just a clean-up duty now, though. Let's see if I can get that last ship there. Not gonna hunt those uh, torpedo boats that they have. No, sir. In fact, from the looks of it, I'm pulling out. Yeah, I'm a bit grumpy, I think, about the loss of my uh, light cruiser there. Enemy ship is badly damaged. But I'm not willing to risk enemy torpedo attacks, I think. It's either that or my ammo count. He's getting low. Yeah. It's not too bad. I guess I just got tired of the bad weather. <laughs> 
I really hate it. I really, really do. And ending that battle. A frustrating battle. Frustrating Lovely attempt by the enemy torpedo boat, though. That really surprised me. That was a good move. And of course, we also lost two torpedo boats, didn't we? I believe we did. The battleship Xilang blocked off here. Managed to retreat. Good. Lost a couple of transport ships today. And we're seeing an invasion from the British. These two are still looking good. These two are still progressing. Yeah, they're still progressing. One turn and then my naval invasion group will arrive. Tell me, the Hong Kong fleet. It takes so long, like two, three turns right now to uh, get all the ammo back up. It's partially because the uh, harbors are overcrowded, so it's a bit of my own mistake here. Let's send out these task forces anyway. There isn't any chance on a peace deal? No, but a naval invasion can now... Yeah, Singapore, Malaya. Yeah, great. USA, peace deal. Nope. Italy, peace deal. Nope. I'm happy the Italian fleet... Okay, it's not here. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Not the best episode, I'd say. Made some vital errors, and we're struggling a bit with the resupply issues, and, well, you know, this, the Xilang is still unable to move at all. I hope I can move her a bit, maybe, maybe get enemy ships to pass me, I don't know. That's also one of the reasons why I moved this task force here, if this... Naval invasion should fail if I don't have enough uh, tonnage. I'll move up here and try to save this battleship. While the rest of my fleet hopefully is able to... Go on an offensive here, or at least secure Southeast Asia again, because look at that. There is just... Too many British tonnage around, and even some American battleships, apparently. There. And I would like them to die. But once again, that is for next episode. Let us quickly check the research before going off. Looking good, hull strengthening. Dreadnought improvements is useful, but not... A primary concern right now. Extra engines, however, is very, very good. Now, it was this battleship, the Einlang. View design. That ship needs an overhaul, a serious overhaul. She did not function at all, as far as I'm concerned. And one of the things that I will do to make her better is replace her funnels. Oh, come on. Why the hell come? What is blocking them here? Is that the main tower blocking them? Surely not. No. 
Oh well. This way. We have at least the engine power. I would like a hydraulic steering, unbalanced rudders, please. Auxiliary engine, yes, please. We can go to Harvey Armor as well on these ships. Yes, it's good that I overhaul these ships. I think it's high time. Let's add a superstructure and a citadel. The armament is very strong, I say. Uh, nothing wrong with that. The guns. Let's up them half an inch. And let's increase the length on the secondary turrets. By five percent. We hardly have any room, but I want to try it. 18.5? 18.5 it is. More speed. More speed, better armor, better guns. Let's hope it's enough. Ladies and gentlemen, 